Our final entrepreneur is Thierry Junta. This passionate Frenchman has ploughed his heart, soul, and a hundred thousand pounds of his own cash into setting up in business. I've worked four years on this project and I've had to make a huge sacrifice. Let's go, guys. So far, it's been a one-man show. This is our moment. My parents inspire me. My father inspires me. Um, so it's given me the drive, the determination to carry something through. Yeah. Hello, dragons. My name is Thierry, and I'm a yoga instructor. I'm also the inventor of Beamblock. Beamblock is a pattern-granted apparatus that I have used to create a new workout system called Beamblock Yoga. Today, I'm looking for 50,000 pounds in exchange of 50% of my company. How does it work? You're just about to see a yoga class like you have never seen before. Walk your hands forward into a down dog and drop your hips into an up dog. And slowly walk your hands back, place your right foot on the blue pad and your left leg is now floating. Turn the leg out to the side. Five, four, three, two, one, and back up. Well done, team. My vision is to get beam block yoga in every gym around the country. My idea is to sell the branded classes, sell the equipment, sell the license to use the branded classes, and train the trainers. Thank you very much, Dragons, for listening to my pitch. Before we go any further, I would like to hand those over to you. Peter. Thank you. A balanced pitch from yoga instructor Thierry Junta, who is looking for 50,000 pounds for a 50% stake in his fitness business. Sarah Willingham wants to know if he's the real deal. Thierry, if I Google you, yes. will I find you? I mean, are you a yogi? Yeah, yeah. Okay. If, you, if you Google me, you'll find my website. Okay. That tells you all about my, my background. Yeah. as a yoga instructor. Okay. Uh, 15 years of experience. I used to train Madonna's private personal trainer for quite a few years. I'm actually your target market for this. Great. Um, love yoga, do a lot of exercise, but, and there is a big but, I'm not sure why I would use the block as opposed to just standing on the floor. Um, well, if I just show you what we call a, a pistol squat, This requires balance, yeah. strength, focus, flexibility, and a lot more. So, so now, sorry to harp on that same yes. thing, but now do it on the floor. OK, on the floor, it is a lot easier to correct yourself, to catch yourself, to cheat, because there's no limitation of space. So if I do it, and then suddenly I go this way, right, yeah. then it's a lot easier, because it's a flat surface throughout. Isn't it sort of, it looks like step yoga? Yeah, I, I quite like the idea of yoga step. Yes, correct. What do you mean you like the idea? What, you like my idea better than yours? No, 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 no. your idea is my idea. I, I would describe... Hang on, hang on. You're, you're, what? <laughs> no, no, what I'm saying. I idea, just came Peter. up with step yoga, you didn't. No, 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 that's not the idea, Peter. <laughs> he, hear me out, Thierry. I want £50,000 um, and I'll give you 5% of my company. <laughs> The tables are turned in the den, albeit tongue-in-cheek. Now, leisure industry stalwart Deborah Meaden wants to steer the conversation back to the business in hand. So, I'm a gym, and I'm trying to get my membership up, and therefore I'm going to buy... I'm going to spend, what, £1,200 a year on paying you a licence fee? Right. Plus, how many of these would I need to make it viable? 15 units per, per club. The, the idea is to sell them for £120 each. 
So my initial outlay would be, what, 2000 plus £1,200 a year licensing fee? And how many more memberships would I have to sell to cover that on most gym, on your sort of average gym price? I haven't got an answer for this question, but what I know, Deborah, is that in the past four years, over 500 people have tried beam block yoga. And it has... Terry, Terry, yeah. this is the crux of whether this business will work or not. So you tell me as a gym owner why I should outlay that cash and why it's going to give, make, make me good returns. Well, I, I would have to come up with a number, which I haven't got, unfortunately. But I know for sure that it would, it would bring in more customers and more guys into... But, Terry, you can't run a business... Do you know what you've just told me in that simple statement you've just made? that you're a great guy who's invented something who hasn't got a clue how business works. A classic den dressing down from a dragon that demands far more from a potential investee. And Peter Jones is far from zen about Beanblock Yoga's market potential. I have no idea whether this is something that's big or not. The one thing I will say, though, you've got to sell into a lot of gyms to make any money. For me, as an investor, I need to look at what's the real market opportunity here. So I think, is it possible to sell this product into a thousand gyms? That seems a long way away from where we are today, doesn't it? I have to agree. You know, to get to sort of four or five hundred thousand pounds income a year, you're going to have to get this going every month in about 500 gyms. I think that you would be much better off looking for investment when you have got a big gym chain signed up on whatever terms that you need to sign them up on. I just don't, I don't think there's enough evidence in here and I think you're selling yourself short. Um, so f for that reason, I'm out. But I wish you all the very best of, of luck with this. Good Thank luck. Thank you very much. Even the politest refusal to invest can feel like a major blow. And Tuka Suleiman is about to open further wounds. Do you want to ask a couple of straight questions? How much did you invest so far? A hundred thousand. A hundred? Sorry, you have invested a hundred thousand pounds in this already. Correct. Yeah, I spent uh, sixty thousand pounds in IP. Sixty worldwide. Sixty worldwide. So, is it this money you've spent? Is that your own money? My own money. Wow. Yes. Obviously, um, why is this difficult? What's, the, what's happened? Because it's been tough. It's been tough because, uh, obviously, I, I, I made a commitment to myself. I believe in the idea. Um, I became jobless, penniless and homeless in the process. Uh, it's been tough. But I think, you know, the positive side of things is that um, I'm resilient and I want to make it a success and I believe I will and I will not stop until I have. Fighting talk from Keep Fit fanatic Thierry. But has his stubborn refusal to give up on the dream convinced Deborah Meaden? I'm not going to be able to spend the time with you that I think you need. For me, there has to be a seed in there of the entrepreneur grasping the business mechanics. Really good luck, but I won't be investing, so I'm afraid I'm out. I like you, Thierry. Um, you're overcomplicating the business model. Because I think what you're talking about with the gyms is an upward struggle. What you want is a product that becomes a household name worldwide, right? I can see this sold in department stores around the world. Who's buying it though? The individuals would buy yeah, it. Yeah, but if you buy, if you buy it from a department store, you don't know what to do with it. You've got to go to a class, I think. You do a video showing them all and you go to department stores and show demonstrations and you make this a household name. If you agree marketing-wise to review it with me 
and say, look, we've got something. How can we distribute this around the world, not in 20 gyms? Uh, I've had to adapt for so many years, so I am not uh, rigid. If this is to make this a better product for the, the market, I'm very open to change. I like that. Yeah. I'm very willing to put up 25,000 pounds. If one of my other dragons want to come with me, to help you on the journey, right? Because only because it is a punt. And maybe two heads is better than one. What's your offer to Congo? 25,000 for 25%. A demonstration of mental rather than physical flexibility has secured Thierry an offer of investment from clothing magnate Tuka Suleiman. Are Sarah Willingham or Peter Jones prepared to match or even better it? I don't think you're a businessman. But you're determined to see this through. And it's that determination that I like. And that's why I'm going to make you an offer. Thierry, I'm going to offer you all of the money, £50,000, for 50% to go on that journey with you. Thanks. But I'm also happy to share with Tuka and split it with him and you can have two dragons for one for the same price. In a way, it kind of breaks my heart that you're going to sell 50% of your business for 50 grand after all you've put in. You know, you should be further on than that, not selling half of the dream for, for 50 grand. But I do really like it. I can see it in gyms and people using it. So I will also make you an offer. And it's for half of the money, but with Peter, not with Tuka. And it's because I would want to take it in a different direction. Thierry, you have a choice. a question sure so can you please remind me Peter what what direction you would like to take this business I think that you could have your cake and eat it there's no reason why you can't move forward with a dual market strategy because it's one product I think we need to understand a little bit more routes to market before we say that's what we need to do made up my mind. I would like to go with Peter and Tuka. Great. Congratulations. Well done. Thank you so much. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Brilliant. Thierry's resolve has been stretched, but his determination has ultimately been rewarded. He leaves with £50,000 and the opportunity to take his business to a whole new level. Right now, um, I think I have to, to go and um, kind of register the whole thing, you know. This is the beginning of my new life. My new life starts right now. And I'm so excited. And I've waited a long time for this. <laughs>